at this very moment, it's her memories of you, her feelings for you, that cause her to suffer. You're the only one who can save her. You can put an end to her suffering. It will be your final act of love. I wanted to be the one to show you the world. I wanted to take you to the Eiffel Tower in Paris, or kiss you under a moonlit Rome. Like the things that would happen in the Colosseum, I wanted to rip you apart in the most poetic way. I wanted to go snorkeling in Aruba. I wanted to see the coral beneath our feet. Everywhere I wanted to be, I wanted to be there with you. I wanted it to be so that no matter what, every time you saw an airplane, you'd think of me. Or any time you'd see the moon reflect in someone else's eyes. Whenever you found yourself driving through a neighborhood full of mansions just to plan out your dream life, I hope you think of me. Because I remember waking up next to you and the way the sunlight would hit your face and the floating dust speckled around you. I just wanted to drown in your presence. You were like a beautiful still in a moving world. Time seemed to slow down whenever you were near me. If you've ever been in a car accident or a near-death experience, you know what I mean. It's a beautiful bliss where time stops and you're shown your life all the bad choices that led you to this moment. In a weird way, you're kind of the reason I don't regret anything in life. I remember when we were upstairs and you told me that you wanted it to die. You were beautiful in the saddest way. To let someone see who you really are, to be real for just once in your life. You put your mask down and looked at me with your heart through watery eyes. We could talk for hours about how many terrible things happen to good people. But one thing I learned from you is that even sunflowers don't last forever. They show up for a little bit as the seasons change to remind you that, hey, the world's beautiful sometimes. And then they go. Just like when we promised forever, I didn't think it'd come so soon. I prided myself on being able to make you smile when things would get bad. Of course, I was usually the reason they were bad, but we didn't make sense, and we didn't have to. Like a statue of our waxed hands fallen and morphed from aging. I remember you told me that you felt me slipping through your fingers. I laughed and said the only thing slipping through your fingers is mine. But you were right. The weight of the world pulled me right through. So whenever you feel sad, just look at your wrist time you slapped me, or like the first time I saw you walking towards me, or how you were obsessed with taking pregnancy tests, or how we lost a little version of ourselves. Whenever you look at your wrist, I hope you think of me, and I hope you think of everything that we used to be.